Hi guys and welcome back all my anxious travelers. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Maybe I'm not. Isn't that what anxiety is? It's like you go back and forth. But I think the reason why I'm saying all my anxious travelers is because I realized that the reason that I do a lot of research is because I want to know everything. And you may think, well, isn't that why you're going on vacation? To explore and to find out about it. But I realize, no, it's not. I don't want to learn everything once I get there. I want to experience the vacation once I get there. So anyway, so I'm just continuing my series of what to expect when. Um, all related to Viking. And so if you haven't seen some of my other videos recently on what to expect, I have a couple of them on what to expect when you land at the airport, what to expect just in general, and a few others. But let's just talk about why you're here right now. And that is, this video is just like the title suggests, oh, this is a good time to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more content. I'm not going to say great content, but you can get real content about the things that you're probably wondering, but this is a good time to subscribe if you'd like to come back um, and help me meet my goal, which is to just keep this going. So the title and what we're talking about today is what to expect about the onboard experience, but also specifically we're just talking about the music, the entertainment, really the vibe. And I looked before I started this video today and I was looking at kind of the age groups and people who are subscribing to my channel. And I know it's all across the board, but so I'm just gonna talk about it for the two largest groups of subscribers that I have. But also if you guys have questions and you're in a different age group, then just hit me up, put me, put a message in the, in the chat or in the, um, I don't even know what platform I'm on, in, in the DMs or comments and I will respond. Um, and I have not been day drinking or anything like that. So, um, so let's talk about what to expect on board when you aren't enjoying all the amazing things that are going on at your destination and at your port. Um, I want to answer uh, some of the questions that people ask me, some of the questions and thoughts that I had, and just generally give you an expectation of what you can expect on board entertainment. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, overall, I want to tell you that my first immediate feeling is that it is extremely quiet on this ship. Now, of course, one of the ships that we got on, we did get there a, a lot later in the evening, but it may have been 11 o'clock at night, something like that. And I could have heard, I could have heard really like almost a pin drop on a huge ship. So it was really quiet at night. Um, for me, at, initially I thought, okay, this is gonna be interesting, right? Um, but I'll tell you as, as the journey continues, like how my initial impression was versus how I felt, you know, day seven or eight or nine. Um, so first impression is it's a very, very quiet ship. I had low expectations for, um, the entertainment. I'll be honest with you. I just wasn't expecting to, um, make that a destination. It wasn't going to be something that I cared if I made it to it or not um, because it just didn't really seem like it was going to matter that much to me. So I want to tell you a little bit about that. Um, the key things that you have entertainment wise on most of the Viking cruises, and they do have like a similar flow for entertainment on most of the ocean's cruise lines. Um, the thing that they focus on, which I really do appreciate, is quality over quantity. Uh, so the musicians are 
interchangeable. So you'll see the house musicians that are doing a number of different types of things. So uh, on the Oceans Cruise Line, you will find that you'll have like a classical pianist who's playing downstairs in the main level. Um, they'll have like the string quartet that plays, um, you know, just kind of when you're like walking to dinner and it's just kind of a, a vibe. It's like a nice, it's like an, an, an amazing on hold music in person as you're, you know, going from one place on the ship um, to the next. But it just makes you feel like your clothes are like flowing better, you know, because you hear the you know, my heart will go on. That's not how it goes. All right. So I won't have a singing channel, but the point is it does just give you a nice vibe. Um, so top notch musicians. It's not the folks who didn't make first chair in the choir and the band or whatever it's it really they are really amazing musicians and it's very very nice to have that music as part of the overall ambiance and so if you're with someone that you care about and you still care about them day seven <laughs> it you can just have a drink you know near the explorer's lounge or near the balcony and and honestly just take the time that maybe you haven't had a chance to do if you're newly retired, like reflect on how you were able to earn your way to this point. And it does give you almost forcibly um, a required relaxation. And that's what I will say is really something I didn't expect is you initially are looking for the hustle and bustle, high energy, lots of, you know, Lots of that is like was in my kind of like in my bones of what I was expecting, but it, it required me to slow down. And I think that was a really, really good thing. Um, so let's talk about the other entertainment, the nightly shows. So some people wonder with Viking, do you still get the shows? Do you get kind of like, I mean, who knew that you'd be looking forward to like the cheesy, you know, performances, but it comes with the cruise. It's kind of like, hey, you know, you're looking for bingo. You're kind of looking for a little bit of that. So let's talk about what to expect in the in the lounge and also um, with the musicians. So I actually was completely surprised. But night one, I was leading the Congo line. Let me just tell you, we are family -ing had it all the way going in the um, Torshan lounge. It was just a really, it's a very cute lounge. I love it. So it was, it was a really good spot. Music was great. The band, they, they sing all kinds of um, dance music and cover band. And I just have to give the perspective that as a, a black woman, um, I have a lot of different food tastes, music tastes, travel tastes. So, I mean, some people may say that, you know, I have um, maybe more eclectic than, than other people or less eclectic. But I think that they do a good job of giving you music that everybody likes. Now, I do know that like some of my... Um, travelers, some of my anxious travelers and some of the folks who subscribe to this channel said, hey, I'm missing some hard rock. Probably not going to get that, but you'll get just about everything else. So I will say that the nightly lounge has a really good vibe that's going to feel like a speakeasy. It's a really quaint. They're very nice, comfortable chairs, uh, low tables. It makes you feel like you need to have a password to get in. I'm thinking old fashions, whiskey, shakers. It's it's that kind of vibe. I give it a thumbs up. I had a great time. That was a that was a really nice way to also meet people you may have seen casually in the hallways on their way to dinner. Everybody seems to be a lot nicer at nine o'clock after a drink or two. Um, and if you don't drink. Watch my video on how to make yourself a mocktail adventure and use Viking bartenders 
as your personal <laughs> as your personal guides to make mocktails and have fun as you drink without alcohol. Um, so that video is definitely on the feed. But the, the last part is um, nightly they will also have their house entertainers um, who's a little different than the band. They have their house entertainers that will perform different shows each night, including for us, I know we saw them perform Love, like the Beatles. Um, it's not quite like a Vegas level, but I think they did a pretty good job in terms of it being high energy, good costume, music, very cabaret, but entertaining. And I thought they did a great job with that. And they also had a few different um, song books that they did. I think, did they do, I know for sure that I heard Beatles. I know um, from Mamma Mia, they did the pretty much the whole soundtrack from um, Mamma Mia and a few others. And so you do absolutely have that taste of the cheese ball <laughs> cruise line that you probably wouldn't ever tell your friends that you're looking forward to. But let's be honest, in that kind of setting, you really do just wanna make sure you're gonna have a little something to wind your evening down. So with what to expect on the onboard experience from the standpoint of music and entertainment, just to break it down into a quick recap, I will say the quality of the performances, the singers and the people who they hand select, I would give it a five out of five, absolutely. I think that variety, I'd probably give it like a three, um, but when I compare it to some of the other cruise lines, I'd rather them do less and probably have like stronger performers, unless you're just wanting to go on and have drinks and kind of like um, talk about how bad the entertainment is. <laughs> But I think on Viking, I was really, really pleased with the quality. Um, and then the last part that I will add is they do have nightly trivia that gives you a chance to kind of connect with people. I I was a fan of that, maybe one of the nights, but it was kind of routine. They didn't mix it up that much. So every night it was kind of the same bingo trivia type of setup, but do it one night and then go to sleep early on those others because the excursions are sometimes very intense. So if you want to see the video on what to expect on the excursions, it's coming up next for those of you that have, who have subscribed. And this is a good time to subscribe if you want to see that video. Thank you guys and see you on your next adventure.